watch Hello Okanagan from Vernon. Welcome back to another episode of Hello Okanagan, guys. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please make sure you do so. Big red button that says subscribe, you cannot miss it. Peter, where are we today? We're in Australia, mate. Really? Crikey, we're gonna see wallabies, kangaroos, some crazy emus as well. And hopefully while we're here, we'll find Peter's good Australian accent. Join us for all the fun, guys, let's go. Like legit, like that was. Welcome back to another episode, everyone. We're really excited about this one. We're playing with some animals. We're here in Ellison, in what is it, north of Kelowna, I guess, and we're at the Kangaroo Creek Farm. Dave and I are really pumped about this. We're gonna check out some birds and porcupines and kangaroos. That's what they're really famous for, and a whole lot of other animals. Caroline. Thank you for allowing us to come here and giving us the VIP treatment. Yeah, no worries. I didn't bring the right footage, but that's okay. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll walk around the landmines. So when did you guys start? I know you recently moved here. When did you move to this location? Uh, we moved to this location in 2018, and then we tried to open, as usual, for spring break in 2019. And where were you before? We were in Lake Country. And how long has that been running down there? Uh, we were in Lake Country for about eight years. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we're in about our 10th year now. Wow, cool. Mm -hmm. And what other types of animals do you have here besides kangaroos? Oh, we have capybara, we have emus, both adults and chicks. We have a multitude of parrots, so most of those are rescues. You have wallabies, I think I read somewhere? Yeah, wallabies are basically just small kangaroos. Oh, they are? Okay. Yeah, but in total we have four species. We have Bennett wallabies, Dharma wallabies, um, common wallaroos, and we have the largest of the kangaroos, the red kangaroo. Awesome, well show us around. Let's see some of these little guys close up. Okay. Follow us. With the emus, the females are dominant. Oh, wow. And the females just lay their eggs wherever they feel like it. Then the males come along and they roll them into a nice neat pile. <laughs> and then when they figure they've got enough eggs, they sit on them for about 54 days. Wow. And the males hatch out the eggs and then the uh, males look after the chicks. Really? Yep. If the females it's like seahorses. To get their beaks on a, on a chick, they'd have a tendency to kill it. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Watch so out for the, the women. So are those like super spiky? Oh yeah. And, exactly. and they like, they fan out or what? Straight on a 90, she yeah. gets agitated. Oh really, hey, yeah. straight yeah. up. Yeah. And it's mostly just for protection, like she doesn't use it for attack? No, not usually. I mean, they have to defend themselves against lions. Yeah, I was just gonna say, if they're from Africa, yeah. yeah. Wouldn't, be, wouldn't, wouldn't be the first woman to reject me. <laughs> We're gonna see some joeys here in the wilderness. Crikey, gonna hear we may see some wallabies. We're gonna hear Peter say crikey. Hopefully we don't come across any pumas. There we go. Smallest marsupials in the world. She has a pouch just like a kangaroo. In fact, she's more closely related to a kangaroo than a squirrel, which most people think she is. She's quite often mistaken as a flying squirrel when she's a flying possum, in fact. Tell me you got that. I bet you in October, this thing runs away. 
It, it already did run away because you're around, Peter. <laughs> There's only room for one turkey on this show, and that's Peter. Uh, to find these in the wild, you'd have to go to Brazil. Um, they're a semi-aquatic rodent. You can see they have um, webbed feet. Can, can I, I feed one of them? Yeah, Do you absolutely. just give it to them or no, no, drop no. it? or Two hands. Yeah. Seriously? Well, so you rip and tear okay. It's not going to bite me, is it? Holy. Yeah, what? A little lower. She's short. You're splitting all over me, dude. <laughs> okay, you're both. I'm putting it down and walking away. <laughs> See, there is no wastage going on here. It's not like the dinner table, you know? Oh, okay. Hey, dude. <laughs> they broke it. <laughs> do you watch Hello Okanagan? Crikey, yes I do. That's re really good. Can you pet them? Yeah. Is it awake or sleeping? She's sleeping. You're gonna, gonna scare her. her shortly. No, you wake up. So peaceful. The beta got over domesticated in the house. She's very small, spent an entire year winter in the house, and now she won't socialize with other roos. She won't lay on the ground. Yeah, she's, she's pretty, a, a she's almost baby. canine. We met Caroline, and this is her other half, Greg, who run the property. Greg, we were just told something about the emus that are around the perimeter. Is there a specific reason they go around the perimeter of the whole uh, farm? Yeah, emus are our security cordon. The entire farm has a 1,600 foot corridor filled with 32 full grown emus, which really have a hatred for four legged animals. So, what do they do if they see like a coyote or a bear? Come yeah, through? they actually will attack four legged animals at the fence. They run at the coyotes, they attack the raccoons that try and get into their food. Down the Mill Creek, the wildlife corridor, and they do run off bears and bear cubs. Wow. So, they're very, very protective and very useful. So, you got a built in security system. Built in security system. That's awesome. Well, let's go, uh, let's go into the security system. <laughs> <laughs> let's, break, let's break in. Well, so all these guys, for the last 10 years, I've hand raised every check. <laughs> yeah, hello, big guy. Why do I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park right now? So these, I didn't hand raise. These spent their time with dad, essentially. Oh, David. <laughs> this one's staring right at us. The, the big guys, so I did hand raise all these big guys for years and years now. So dad here is probably five years old, and these are his four kids. Can run from him? Getting all the same. <laughs> this is awesome. Is he chasing him? Yep, let's chase him again. Look out, David! <laughs> Look out, there he <laughs> No, what's funny? His body is still going this way, but his neck starts going this way. Oh, the dance and the flop, and, and they roll. Guys, super exciting. We're gonna play with some emus now.
guys. Hey everyone, have you seen our new merch? Check this out. You got koozies, coffee mugs, t-shirts, hoodies, whatever you want. Let Brad know. Where do they find Brad and our merch guy? All right, guys, you head over to HelloOkanagan.com and click the link. It'll take you right to our link, and that's where you buy all of the Hello Okanagan merch. Dave! What's up, buddy? Get a new drink at uh, Seniors Happy Hour there? <laughs> Thanks. I got a beer for you. A beer? You know I don't like beer. Well, I know you're 14, but you gotta try this thing. All right. Just give it a sip. Oh, it's actually pretty good. Look at the label. We got our own beer. Hello, Okanagan and Martin Brew Pub? Yes. Woo! We, we collabed. Let's do it, man. Martin Brew Pub, thank you so much. You guys can get flights, pints, six packs, take them with you, and guess what? The peaches and everything is from the Okanagan. Right here in the Okanagan. Right here, right here. Guys, you can support a great brewery, a great TV show, and best of all, the beautiful Okanagan Valley. But don't take our word for it. Let's see what our friends think. Dave? Peter. Dave? Peter. Hey! Peter! <laughs>